Hi, it's Coach Mary Kelly here with a training tip for Team Lemon. Um, just wanted to talk a quick bit about heart rate based training. Um, for those of you who have never owned or used a heart rate or own one and don't know how to use it, um, it basically consists most of them of a strap that goes around your chest, underneath your sports bra if you're a gal, right next to your skin, and also some sort of wrist unit or watch unit. This one here also has a few extra features, um, including uh, pacing and things. But the most important thing with heart rate-based training is to find out what your lactate threshold is. And um, if you just use general formulas, about 50% of the population will fall into those formulas. A better way to check is to actually do a test. And it's not a test that you're graded on. It just helps you monitor your training. Um, you go out for either a run or a bike ride. It's hard to do with swimming. Um, for a 30 minute race pace effort. So as fast as you can consistently go for 30 minutes and you wear your heart rate monitor and hit the lap button 10 minutes in, your, your average heart rate over that last 20 minutes is gonna be a pretty close approximation to your lactate threshold. And the way you use that number is really simple. For interval type efforts and temporal race pace type efforts, you want your, your heart rate to be higher than your lactate threshold. And for endurance type runs, you want your heart rate to stay below your lactate threshold. So that's just a great way to get started with some heart rate based training.